I also want to stress that there is misinformation being communicated across social media and people should not share any of that information. The source of information should be from police and law enforcement authorities and if people have concerns they should check our websites, our socials and any other direct news from law enforcement about current information. If we have current credible information about any risk or threat to the community, we will let them know. We will share that with the community. So please be assured that police will be the source of truth and not social media and misinformation. Also interesting is remember, it's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. The Mercury News says Jeff Rosen is the rare California district attorney who balances progressive approaches to law enforcement while also holding offenders accountable for their crimes. That's why community groups and police are asking voters to re-elect District Attorney Jeff Rosen. Well, the Santa Clara County District Attorney went public with his change of heart regarding the death penalty several weeks ago, but now we're hearing from faith leaders who say that they are supportive of the District Attorney's decision to move on from the death penalty, and his efforts are now to move the 15 people currently on death row in Santa Clara County and have them committed to life without parole. But over time, my thinking has changed. It's a new perspective on justice for a longtime district attorney who spent a decade prosecuting rape and murder cases in Santa Clara County. Jeff Rosen says he no longer thinks the death penalty is justified. Racism and other kinds of biases have deeply affected our country since its founding. His goal now is to ask that all 15 of these individuals have their sentences changed from death to life without the possibility of parole. And remember Bay Area, Wash your hands, keep a safe distance apart, and treat each other with patience and kindness. Clowns! We know Alex J. of Rockville was arrested on Wednesday by the Montgomery County Police Department. Officials tell us the FBI notified them about the 129-page manifesto given by Ye. He called this manifesto a memoir. Charging documents say someone contacted the Baltimore County Police after Ye showed them this book he had allegedly written about a high school shooting. According to the documents, the witness began reading the book, which was about a young Asian transgender man being bullied in school. The witness told police that the story did not read as fiction, but included issues directly pulled from his life. In this memoir or manifesto, Ye wrote about committing a school shooting and strategized how to carry out the act. And so I, again, I want to commend all who were involved, who took the necessary steps and who had patience, who didn't rush to judgment, and who, again, with other partners and um, ex experts who are in this field to make the decision, the more difficult decision, uh, to arrest Mr. Yee. Hello, Chief. Thank you very much. I, I just wanted to commend you for great police work. This actually is a question for Mr. Elrich, if he doesn't mind stepping away here. Um, <laughs> yesterday when this story broke, I read this story. I've been covering crime in this town for 20 years. What is the reluctance of the county to admit that this individual was transgender. This is the fourth time that we have seen this happen very recently. And right here, I hear all of our leadership saying to us today, and what we do in journalism here, we try not to do is bury the lead. Why am I hearing about this from the New York Post? Because uh, it's not a lead. You know, how do you publicize every time somebody gets murdered that it's a white Christian male? Who's heterosexual? No, you don't. You don't. This, are these the only crimes that get committed? You never publish somebody's sexual orientation when you talk about this. Why you focus on it being a transgender is beyond me. It is not a news story. It is not a crime to be transgender. And I'm sorry you feel that way. That's not what I said. Okay. If there are any other questions for Mark Elrich before he leaves, because he does have a prior engagement. Convenient.